you're going to be making meatballs today. We're going to make some meatballs. This is a pork and a veal meatball. Yep. And the, what we're going to do is I have a panade. So I take these breadcrumbs. I soak them in milk. And what it does is it creates this palatability. Yep. Right? You want that softness, that suppleness inside the, the meatball. And that's one of the reasons also that I don't use beef. Right, the the beef, beef tends to be a little grainy. Mm. So with pork and veal, it tends to be a little more supple. So texture, get on this side. I don't want to make meatballs. Yeah. Texture is really side. important to you then. Okay. Texture is so super important. Here. So okay. we're gonna, <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> add the, I'm gonna add the panade, right? I'm gonna add a little panade here. I'm gonna add some pecorino cheese. A little pecorino, a little Parmesan cheese as well, grated nicely. I got a, a couple eggs. Add a couple eggs instead of meatballs. I'm gonna add a pinch of crushed red pepper, depending on how spicy you like these things. I have a little fennel seed that's ground also. You know, thank you. Fennel is so important in meatballs. Think about the flavor of a delicious sausage that you love. Oh, that's yeah. what that's yeah. what fennel brings Absolutely. to a meatball. That's the whole point. I got yep. a couple, I'm gonna grate some garlic cloves inside there as well. I'll do two cloves yeah, of garlic. Yeah, when you grate it, it pastes the garlic, so yes. you're not biting down on big pieces. Big chunks of it inside the meatball. So one of the things about this meatball is after it's, after it's mixed, what I like to do is I'll scoop them out just like this. And I am a big believer that when you make a meatball, you got to fry it up like Clemenza says. You got to fry it up nice. <laughs> you got to fry it up nice. <laughs> you got to fry it up nice. So my mother used to do this where she would fry the meatballs on all sides and create that caramelization on the outside. Right. So what I like to do is I'll sear them off nicely. I'll add some chicken stock to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh, like that. Yeah, yes, look at yeah. that. Yeah. I know. I feel like, like such a bore when I go home and nobody oozes and oz when I cook it. <laughs> <laughs> so we take that and we are going to pop it in the oven over gotcha. here. Gotcha. Beautiful. Thank you, Rachel. Here you go, honey. Beautiful. And we're going to let that stay for 15, 20 minutes, something like that. You want now, me to get the other one yet, Scotty, or no? Let's wait on okay, that one. Okay. And what, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a pesto that goes alongside of it. Okay. All right. So we have the broccoli rabe, which is blanched inside here. We're going to add uh, well, olive oil to it, some salt, pepper. And what I like to do is I never like to waste things, right? So if we have a bunch of, we have a bunch of uh, uh, carrots that are, that are around, I'll take carrot the greens, tops. carrot yep. tops. I do this with I'll, a lot of pestos throughout the year. Yeah, because yeah. it's a great way to utilize those greens. Once that's all ground up nice, we add some garlic, we add the olive oil, all that stuff. A little more crushed red pepper, we, it comes a little out more. like this. Yeah. We crush it's it up beautiful. into this beautiful paste, yeah. add a little Parmesan cheese to uh. it. Obviously, the more cheese, the better. And that, I mean, smell that. So that you, is can just, smell you, you can smell it from here. I don't it. even, right. So nice. Oh, right? Really, really, so really so nice. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah. so we have some fregola. Fregola is a kind of a Sicilian couscous. It's, it's like right? a, a big couscous. Mm. Yeah, semolina based. A little pecorino in here, a little Parmesan cheese there as well. We're going to mix that up nice. Just mm. like this. We have all these little components. If you want, you can put this on the fire, saute it, add a little bit of the pasta cooking liquid that you've cooked exactly. it in. Exactly. Yep. A little bit of salt inside there. Again, all this. Let's do this. Right? Toss it up oh. together. I'll take some of the fregola. I'll put it down on the bottom of that. Maybe not that piece of butter. <laughs> I, know. That's, that's I was trying little, to melt it down for much. you. No, you're good. You're good. So I'll put, that, I'll put that down. I'll take some of these meatballs. This is very restaurant style Ooh. stuff, right? Yeah. Meatballs on top. A little bit of that jus that the meatballs are cooked in. Everything is... Everything means something in restaurants, right? Yeah. Everything is meant to... The intention is, is that you're meant to have... Here's these concentrated tomatoes that we could add to this as well. Yeah. It looks, it just smells Beautiful. so insane. How about a little pesto on there? Yes. Right there. Beautiful. Yes. A little bit of pesto. Oh. It's a thing of beauty. It here, smells, get in here. You it smells get amazing. In there. It looks like all the colors too. It looks beautiful. Oh, and hot pepper. Oh, oh my God, it's hot pepper. Hot peppers. Oh, I'm not gonna, ridiculous. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs>